all day. And I would contribute to that um, as a Rock Valley College trustee by using my existing networks to bring resources closer to the community and su supporting whatever partnerships we can in order to advance our mission. Thank you. Can Candidate Finera, how would you uh, support these partnerships? I would definitely maintain and strengthen relationships by constant and uh, fruitful dialogue regarding uh, our, our partnerships' needs and expectations. We have to move and we have to be able to change with their needs. Uh, if we don't change with their needs, then we're not going to be partners for long. So I think it's going to be very important for us to have complete, complete communication with all of our partners to ask them. <clears throat> What do you need? What can we do to help you? How can we facilitate this? Thank you. Candidate Trojan, how would you support these partnerships? I'm a firm believer in partnerships and collaborations, and I think what I can bring to the trusteeship is my knowledge uh, of many, many of the organizations with whom I have worked with, either on the board, on their board, or on uh, various uh, technical committees. And so I think I could bring a, a much easier way to collaborate uh, with uh, the existing as well as new partnerships just through my knowledge of the people in the region. Thank you. And finally, candidate uh, Black, how would you support these partnerships? The public has now grown to expect that nonprofits will work together and not compete and not duplicate services. I would continue the partnerships with other nonprofits and with uh, business enterprises but only after evaluating their worth to the college. And I would also seek new partnerships where oppor uh, opportunities arise. Thank you. Moving on to the next question. This, uh, this question, uh, candidate West will start. On what types of issues would you consider seeking student input? Anything and everything. Our students will help me fulfill the purpose of not being untouchable or distant about what is actually going on at the college. We strive for quality education. The students can tell us if the education is quality. The uh, we take pride in our programs. Students can inform us if the programs are worth taking pride over. Everything we do as trustee, administration, faculty, and staff is for our students because the students come first. So let's make sure that the things that we meet about on a monthly basis at the board meetings is germinating and taking roots within our students because if it's not, we're wasting our time. Thank you. Candidate Arco, how, what, in what issue, types of issues would you involve the students? My fear is the question itself, and that is putting students in a large polarization group. We have non-traditional students. We have challenged students. We have students who are not even reading at college level. We need to look at the type of students to ask the questions, and then, and then only, we start to listen and we start to hear, and then we can take action. Thank you. Candidate Aguirre, what type of issues would you consider involving students? I will be seeking input from our students, our students' trustee on transportation, courses, programs, financial aid. These are some of these issues that I would like to seek and the input in. Thank you. Candidate Burks, what sort of issues would you uh, seek student input? I think it's important to seek student input on several different issues because as a trustee, how can I do my job without the students? Um, and the answer is I can't. And I think it's important to especially consider the students when thinking about facility location, thinking about transportation, and just overall experience because our students need to be happy and our students need to be um, comfortable in the environment at Rock Valley College. Thank you. Candidate Finera, how would, what, and what sort of issues would you consider student input? I would definitely seek their input on almost everything. You know, some input that they give may be weighted higher and may be weighted lower, depending on how privy they are to information. But it's an entire college experience, and so it's going to encompass quite a few other factors. So I think that you should really need to sit down and talk to the students and find out their perspective on all of it. Um, some things may be more specific, like the curriculum, um, the activities, the facility, uh, transportation, and you can weigh that as you need to. But I think that they should have, uh, they should have, we should contact them and they should have say so or they should have input on everything that we do. Thank you. Um, I've been uh, um, reminded that there may be some, uh, some of you who aren't speaking loud enough that everybody can hear, so please make sure you, you speak up. Um, candidate Trojan, how would you, uh, as a trustee, seek? Um, input from students? 
After raising uh, three boys through uh, their college careers and a couple of grandkids through their college and high school careers, uh, the one issue that I find most perplexing is what are you going to do for a career? So I think what I would look at is uh, asking the students of Rock Valley College, how can we help you decide what kind of a career and therefore what kind of courses should be offered and that you should take so that when you do graduate or when you do complete your uh, GED, you're going to have something that you can actually make money at because that's really what the end result is, is getting a job and getting money to be, you know, for your family. Thank you. Candidate Black, and what sort of issues would you consider student input? Well, I consider this an easy question for me. I would uh, take student input on all issues. Uh, I, I would believe that we should have input from all our constituencies. That would be students, faculty, other staff, and the general public. Thank you. Uh, Candidate Kelly, what sort of issues would you seek student input? I have to agree with everyone on this panel. <laughs> it's pretty easy being last right now. <laughs> we do get student information. Uh, when they ask for a soccer team, they have one now. We ask them if they, what they feel about tuition increases, activity fees, even, even their book choices. So we, we do listen not only to students, but we do listen to faculty and the community. Thank you. All right, the next question will start with candidate Arco. Um, not all Rock Valley College students enter directly into college level courses. How do you propose addressing their needs? I think uh, Rockford alignment has really done a great first step for our community. I had the luxury of sitting down with eight secondary education students for a day at my offices. And I listened and heard exactly what their needs and wants and challenges of their students. We need to reach not only into the secondary level, but the elementary level early on and have that dialogue with the needs and wants of those teachers to prepare them for that next level of engagement, and that's RVC. Thank you. Um, candidate Aguirre, how would you uh, um, go about uh, addressing the needs of uh, students who aren't uh, ready to enter college level courses? I would suggest to partner up with the local high schools and counselors to see if students qualify for re remedial courses prior to entering college, also students to make refreshment courses that encourage them as students are successful in their transition into college. Thank you. Candidate Burks, how would you go about addressing the needs of these students? Well, I think it's important to acknowledge that um, oftentimes when people don't enter straight into college level courses, there's a feeling of inferiority associated with that and that we as an institution are prepared to remediate that um, association. I think that we go about that by supporting pre-college level courses and also encouraging partnerships, not only with the school district, but also with the programs that high school students are associated with. And they tend to have a very strong relationship with the participants stronger than the school district. So I think it's important we focus with nonprofits on that one too. Thank you. Candidate Finera, how do you go about uh, addressing the needs of these students? I think uh, educational counselors to evaluate the needs and informed, inform the students as to what they need is important. A lot of these students, if, if, they're, if they come here and, and they don't know what course is, they don't know where to start. So I think a good starting point is an educational counselor or someone that can counsel them as to what courses they need to take, where they need to go from there, and then give them some type of vision Okay. Candidate uh, Trojan, how would you go about addressing the needs of these students? Well, I think we need to continue to provide good remedial uh, coursework for those who are not quite ready to take college level courses because it may take a long time before the high schools get that problem straightened out. So I think providing that kind of service to students, uh, to me, would be very important. Thank you. Candidate Black, how would you go about addressing the needs of these students? Well, unfortunately, it has fallen upon Rock Valley to provide remedial education for those students who come here who are not prepared to uh, take college-level courses. Um, we really have no choice but to provide a means for those students to succeed. It does us little good to recruit uh, students only to have them uh, fail because they were not uh, properly prepared for the uh, experience. Thank you. Candidate Kelly, how do you go about addressing the needs of these students? 
Right now we have a grant called um, Right Place to Start, and we found out that that's working very well. They have taken students that needed a lot of help and paired them up with faculty that are very loving and caring and, and like a coach, a life coach for them. And these students are doing very well. We have talked about duplicating that effort. We would like to try to do that in more areas. We also have a bridge, we have bridge programs where we let, we let students turn around and take regular college classes at the same time. They're taking some developmental classes which will help. We do have GED all around the, the community, and we offer free GED, by the way, so we, and we go. Time, please. Areas. Candidate West, how, uh, how would you go about uh, addressing these needs of these students? There are a high number of students who enter Rock Valley College in need of basic or remedial training. In my experience at the Dislocated Workers Program, I witnessed uh, participants enroll in a two-year program and have to unfortunately maybe take two and a half, three years to complete the program because um, they weren't uh, ready in, in their math skills or their reading skills. So I feel that maintaining a focus on intensive training for our students is a necessity so that they can uh, reach their goals. Thank you. The final question of the questions that were prepared ahead of time for the candidates, uh, we'll start with uh, candidate Aguirre, and the question is, Affordability is a constant concern for students between tuition, textbook costs, transportation issues, uh, MAP and Pell scholarships, and uh, the other costs involved. How would you ensure the balance of quality education and cost? As a trustee, I, I would only guarantee the affordability by not raising the cost. The, qual quality, the the quality of education, I would leave it up to the faculty and the CEO of, of our RBC. Our students deserve a high quality education for that to be ensured successful. Thank you. Thank you. Candidate Burks, how would you ensure the balance of quality education and cost? I definitely support quality education and affordability. And I think we go about that by um, leveraging the, the Rock Valley College Foundation and empowering it to offer more scholarships to our students. And I also think it's important that we support the faculty and students as it relates to advancing the mission of Rock Valley. Candidate Finera, how would you go about uh, balancing uh, cost and uh, quality? I think our, we need to strive for educating as efficiently as, a po as possible, and this could be uh, part, uh, part in part to course design. I think we need to maximize class sizes, maybe introduce some other things like online instruction, accelerated programs, modular systems, but look into areas that we haven't looked at. Thank you. Candidate Trojan, how would you balance the, uh, the qu quality and cost? Well, certainly cost containment or control is important, and I do agree that there are becoming more optional ways of educating, and that may be online, uh, it may be other ways, and I think textbooks are very important. Uh, the rising cost of textbooks, I think, are becoming more costly than the cost of the course itself. So I think uh, those kind of issues need to be looked at. Okay. Uh, candidate Black, how would you uh, ensure the balance of quality education and cost? Well, I would pledge not to uh, uh, try to raise tuition at this time as the, as the uh, solution to the, uh, uh, to the money crisis, but I would also like to assist students in finding uh, outside sources of money to finance their education. I think student loan debt is an incredible uh, issue. It's one that I see as, a, as, an, as an attorney and also as a father. I have uh, four children who are long out of college and are still carrying significant student debt. Uh, I think we have to um, uh, find other places to uh, provide the education so that uh, transportation isn't uh, a cost and an issue. And um, I'm actually shocked at the cost of textbooks these days, and I would support innovative ways Time, of please. trying to Time, uh, please. finance textbooks. Time. Uh, candidate Kelly, how would you uh, uh, go about uh, balancing the cost and quality? That's, a, that's very, very tough. Um, we look at the budget, we try to make sure that we live within the budget, we, we don't allow, we have, we have stopped having a lot of travel for faculty and for ad, admin. We, I have, 
I have not been a supporter for tuition hikes. We already have a very high tuition for this community. We should freeze some of the spending, but also ask the community what, they, what their um, emphasis is for education. Thank you. Candidate West, how do you uh, uh, ensure the balance of quality education and cost? I'm sorry for sounding like a broken record, but it seems to be effective. Partnerships can help our students when it comes to means for paying for school. One per partnership I would like to see is with the Rockford Mass Transit Department so that students from the low number zip codes or areas can get to our campus effectively. Rock Valley currently partners with Rockford University in providing a career and internship fair uh, so that our students can earn money to pay for school. Let's look into partnering with, one, for, with nonprofit organizations for childcare so our parents can focus on the professor while, while they are in class rather than where are the, their child. So while we work diligently to increase our student enrollment, let's utilize other avenues that students can benefit from concerning the overall cost of being a student at Rock Valley. And finally, candidate Arco, how do you uh, uh, ensure the balance between quality education and cost? Vulnerability for a four-year versus a two-year college is always very, very difficult. But unlike a four-year university, we do not have the infrastructure for scholarships on any levels. Doing due diligence on our foundation, I think we can raise the bar significantly, increase the scholarship levels that we have here today at Rock Valley College. Okay, thank you. All right, now we're going to move into the section where we have some questions from the audience. And uh, this question, again, we'll start with uh, candidate Burks. It's from a student, and it says, please describe what you believe are the needs of Rock Valley College students and why those needs may not be being met. I'll repeat it again since you don't know these questions. Please describe what you believe are the needs of Rock Valley College students and why these needs may not be being met. Well, I would understand the needs of some Rock Valley College students to be um, advising. Um, I hear a lot about the challenges with advising, and I think that's something that we can consider as, um, as we go forward. I also think that it's important to think about facility location and transportation. I know that that's a challenge for many students. And I also understand that there are challenges around community and understanding um, your environment as it relates to creating a culture here at Rock Valley College. Thank you. Candidate Fenera, what do you believe are the needs of Rock Valley students and why may they not be being met? I think direction is, uh, is a specific need for Rock Valley College students. Many Rock Valley College students are here um, because they're trying to figure out where to go. Uh, they graduate from, from uh, high school and uh, they're not sure about what they're doing. And sometimes they need direction. So I think that uh, maybe some effort going towards trying to give them counseling, whether it is a certificate program and, and give them counseling on, uh, on different certificate programs or the traditional education, I think uh, uh, direction would really help. Okay, candidate Trojan, what do you believe are the needs of Rock Valley College students and why aren't they being met? Well, I think uh, probably do they really know what they want to do when they graduate or when they take courses? And I think uh, one of the biggest things I, th I see taking place positively is what District 205 is doing with their career academies. It's going to give students in the high school level, starting at freshman level, an opportunity of looking at different careers. And then as they go into sophomore, junior, senior, they're going to have a much better idea of what they want to do. And I think that's going to provide a good track into Rock Valley College. Thank you. Candidate Black, what do you believe are the needs of Rock Valley College students and why aren't these needs being met? I believe that a uh, great college experience requires quality classes, first class facilities, uh, social events on campus, and transportation as a means of uh, getting to the campus. Uh, I believe that Rock Valley is meeting the, or exceeding the uh, uh, these goals in terms of classes and facilities, but that uh, we would need we need a better transportation system and we probably should have more uh, social events on campus. Okay. Candidate Kelly, what do you believe are the needs and why aren't they being met? I also agree transportation. 
computer av availability. Maybe the class scheduling is hard to, to find. Affordable, affordable textbooks. And probably faculty and tutor hours would, would be, the, be what I would consider their problems. Okay. Candidate West, what do you believe are, there, uh, why, are, are the needs and why aren't they being met? One thing I've been noticing um, as, within career development and workforce development is that our students are given, going through our programs, getting their degree, and unfortunately they may not have the experience to um, go into the workforce. The, since the economic crisis, the whole attitude of the employer market has shifted. So now it's an employer's market. So now they can up the ante, if you will, and say not only do you need a degree, but you need experience as well. So if we become uh, more career fo focused across the campus so that every class that our, cl our students are taking is strategic and getting them ready for the workforce after college, then they will be, their, our success rate will be higher for those who are uh, finding jobs once they graduate. Thank you. Candidate Arco, what do you believe are the needs and why aren't they being met? I'm reminded of um, Maslow's hierarchy of needs and underneath Maslow's it's food and shelter and transportation and up here is self-actualization. We have to look at each one of those things and address them not as a group but on each one of those levels of needs and wants. We are people that have to not group needs and wants because they are different. Thank you. Uh, candidate Aguirre, what do you believe are the needs and why, of the students and why aren't they being met? I believe, I believe that UC is a wonderful college. I believe that the staff and faculty do an excellent job and I think that if there's any needs, I think that it has to be transparency and for them to be able to go and ask them what, how they need to be addressed or what their needs are. Thank okay, you. Thank you. For this question, we'll start with candidate Fenera again. It's from a retired faculty member and a foundation board member. And it says, what specific talents will you bring to the board? And I should note that specific is underlined. So what specific talents will you bring to the board? Uh, I, would, I would answer that by, uh, by saying three. I said, first, my education. Um, having uh, been here, having an associate degree, a bachelor's degree, and a doctorate, I think that my educational background would be good. Uh, secondly, I've lived here all my life. This is my home, this is where I live. So I think that being here uh, all my life, I'll know the needs of, uh, definitely know the needs of the community. And, and thirdly, um, I live this Rock Valley College experience because I have family, I have children that go here. So I'm in tune with Rock Valley College uh, on a daily basis and I think I'm quite in, in tune with the needs and the wants of Rock Valley College. Thank you. Candidate Trojan, what specific talents will you bring to the board? Well, certainly in my many years of industrial management experience where I've uh, managed uh, companies, I've hired people, I've grown uh, companies. Uh, my work in the community these last number of years with a number of different organizations, I think, helps me to see how the community looks at things uh, from different perspectives, whether it's economic development, or workforce development, I think I can bring those kind of skills to the uh, trusteeship. Okay. Um, candidate Black, what uh, specific talents will you bring to the board? Well, I bring the fact that uh, I've been involved in, uh, as a student of higher education, I, I was just trying to figure it out for more than 10 years uh, between uh, graduate school and, and uh, law school and undergraduate school. I also bring uh, experience from uh, managing uh, a law office for the last uh, over 30 years. And I've also been a college teacher myself and I understand what, uh, what that entails and the difficulties and what is needed uh, for teachers to succeed. Thank you. Candidate Kelly, what uh, talents, uh, specific talents do you bring to the board? I believe I'm a visionary. I'm also very passionate about adult learners I'm fiscally conservative, and I would bring experience and consistency to the board. Thank you. Candidate West, what specific talents do you bring to the board? I, I truly feel that I, I will bring a fresh perspective to the board. Um, higher education is what I do. I'm currently working at Rockford University, and uh, more importantly, I, I was a staff member here at Rock Valley College. So no, I wasn't a student, but I was a person who helped and uh, to better our students. So as a trustee, I, um, 
open to listening to staff, listening to faculty, listening to what administration has to say. I don't have the end all be all answer. Um, on top of that, uh, the fresh perspective that I could bring um, the, with diversity and with uh, my community involvement, I really help. I really think could help with uh, making our trustee board more effective and making Rock Valley effective as well. Thank you. Candidate Arco, what specific talents do you bring to the board? I think I bring um, something that's very important, and that's my life experience, my critical thinking skills, wrapped up in something that's very precious to me, and that's my time, the giving of my time. Thank you. Candidate Aguirre, what specific talents do you bring to the board? Life experience, 20 years in business, and strong decision making. Okay. And finally, candidate uh, Burks, what specific talents will you bring to the board? Well, not only am I a former student, which is a very timely perspective as we embark on this journey of getting more students in our seats, um, I also have a focus on youth and community empowerment. And I think that's very important as it relates to an educational <clears throat> institution. And I am also very good at um, engaging and maintaining strategic partnerships. Okay. Thank you. This question will start out with candidate Trojan. It's from a staff member, and it says, what would, what would be your first venture challenge that you would like to change at uh, a chair at Rock Valley College to make it grow uh, to, to a new level? Mm -hmm. So what would be the first venture challenge that you would like to, I think it's what should be change, at Rock Valley College to make it grow to a new level? Well, if we're going to increase enrollment uh, and change how the community looks at Rock Valley College, I think there needs to be a marketing committee uh, which will address the issues of how do we reach out to the students of all kinds throughout this large district of ours. So I think uh, changing a, a, into a marketing-oriented organization would be what I would look at. Okay. Candidate Black, what would be uh, your first venture challenge um, if you were a trustee? I, I agree that the major thing that we need to do at this point in, of juncture for the college is to change its uh, visibility and image in the, in the community to uh, let the community know what a resource uh, that it is and to um, uh, change the perspective that this is just your uh, last uh, choice in going to school if you can't get in somewhere else. Okay. Candidate Kelly, what would be your first uh, challenge or venture that you'd like to change? That is the challenge right now, is turning around and changing the brand of Rock Valley College. And it's going to be a long haul, I think, but I believe that we can do that. And so that I also agree that we need more visibility. Okay. Candidate West, what would be your first uh, challenge? I was going to say brand, <laughs> but yeah, um, I've to look at a different perspective when it comes to our branding and our, our marketing. Uh, right now, our marketing is print, right? It's one of our solid marketing pieces that we have. Let's step away from that. Let's go out to the highways and hedges, if you will. Let's go to this. Let's uh, spread awareness of. Uh, physically um, have uh, people partner with our faculty and our staff and our administration in getting into the schools and talking about Rock Valley. I mentioned earlier that uh, there's a perception about Rock Valley, not all negative of course, but let's get rid of that negative perception that is, uh, that is talking about on Rock Valley. They think that's facts, let's give them the truth. So let's uh, work on our brand. Okay. Candidate Arco. What would you see as the, your first venture challenge? Uh, having spent about 30 years in branding and marketing and communication, um, we have to understand what the brand is. And